Hey guys, what's up? Welcome to Hominid. This is a channel about optimizing human potential. And today we're going to be continuing our conversation about nootropics. We're going to be talking about dopamine. So don't forget to leave a like, subscribe, and let's jump into it. Okay, before I get started here, guys, I'd like to give a quick disclaimer. I am not a doctor, um, and none of the advice that I give in this presentation should be construed as medical advice, so keep that in mind as we continue. Okay, so, nootropic guide, part three, dopamine. Okay, what it is, what it does, n dopamine is a neurotransmitter, and it plays a major role in reward motivation. So like, this is when you're motivated to do something to get a reward, essentially. This is how your brain motivates yourself. So um, it's, yeah, it's basically what motivates you to get things done. It also plays a role in attention as well. So dopamine deficiency. This, um, the symptoms of dopamine deficiency when you don't have enough dopamine neurotransmitter in your brain, um, this can cause low motivation. It can cause difficulty focusing and it can cause uh, lethargy, uh, which is when you don't have enough energy, among other things. So supplementation for dopamine, uh, you can use caffeine. Uh, if you use caffeine, I recommend uh, using L-theanine along with it. You can buy tablets with caffeine plus L-theanine. And this is really good because L-theanine is naturally found in tea along with caffeine. So what it does is it kind of takes the edge off of the caffeine without taking the dopaminergic effects from the caffeine. Um, L-tyrosine, L-dopa, or macunapurines. Um, so macunapurines has L-dopa in it. L-dopa, you can get extract uh, for L-dopa. I've tried macunapurines, it didn't really work that well for me. Maybe it'll work for you. Um, I've never tried L-dopa, but yeah. So prescription modafinil. A lot of people talk about modafinil. Um, I don't recommend this. I've tried modafinil, tried different forms of it. Really, first of all, you need to get a prescription for modafinil. Don't get modafinil from some uh, out of sea, overseas pharmacy because uh, it's just not safe. You don't wanna do that. And personally, when I took modafinil, it made me very depressed for some reason. I don't know why, and I never, ever, ever get depressed. So, um, or hardly ever, really. So that, and it was very, very severe. So I really don't recommend modafinil. So food sources for dopamine, there's dark chocolate that has theobromine. I think it also has caffeine. Coffee obviously has caffeine. Fava beans, Brazil nuts are good. Almonds are good. Beef, chicken, dairy, eggs are good. Um, quick warning. Chemicals that produce dopamine can be very, very addictive, especially Adderall, um, modafinil. So just be really careful and be very mindful of this when you're supplementing for dopamine. And that's it. So in the next video, we're gonna be talking about GABA. We're gonna be talking about what that does, what it is, how to supplement it. And don't forget to leave a like, leave a comment, leave a subscribe, because why not? <laughs> So thanks for watching, I'll see you in the next video.